Welcome to beautiful Boston, Massachusetts, and ESPN College Hockey from McGannis Arena on the Boston University campus. Tonight, the number 19 Notre Dame Fighting Irish out of the Big Ten come in to face the number 11 BU Terriers under first year head coach Jay Pandelfo. See the, the size difference between these two teams, and here's Hudson again. And he'll give it to Brown. Sent it on, they score. Brown tipped in by Hudson, and BU takes the one to nothing lead. And sorry that sent it wide. Now the Irish buzzing, and Brinkman ties it up. Ben Brinkman on a one time. The pass from Tuck. Tuck now will get it to the point. Fensori gets it from McCarthy. Now Fensori walking around his man, and he scores! What a shot by Fensori to put BU in front 2-1. to one. So In this 4-on-4, four four, Hudson he will change spots with McCarthy. Swings it over to the far wing corner. There's a one-time sent in front by Scoop. They score! Hudson again! Lane Hudson, and BU makes it 3-1. Pearson now for Notre Dame. He'll go rink wide. Here's Slaggard. Slaggard moving in. Shot blocked in front. Backhand centering pass. Shot. They score. Slaggard scores from the near circle. And here comes Notre Dame as they have closed back within one. Fensori's got it. He'll send it across for Brown. Sends it down low. Scoop was lurking side of the net. Couldn't get a stick on it. Now back in the slot. Shot. They score. Matt Brown. There it is. Get it deep and... Make Notre Dame play defense again. Gallagher holds it in. On the oh. right point, they score again. Shallow angle shot from Gallagher. And you can see his body language. Is he saying, did I score that? Really? Saying so long from Boston as the Terriers beat the Irish here tonight in Beantown. Happy Thanksgiving. That, that's a big win for us um, going into the Thanksgiving break here. Um, I thought we started the game really well, first like seven, eight minutes, and then I thought we got away from our game a little bit again. And then I thought, you know, overall, you know, we were pretty good. I still think there's some pockets of our game where, you know, we have a chance to, you know, to put a team away, and I thought we let them hang around a little bit too long. But overall, I'm happy with the effort. I thought the guys competed hard. We just got away from playing our game a little bit in, in pockets of that game. Coach, obviously a good start to the third period, getting that full goal four on four. Just what was kind of the message in the room before you guys went out? Well, we wanted to make sure we had, had a really good third period. Um, you know, we only have an exhibition game this weekend, so we, you know, we wanted to end, end the stretch, um, you know, playing the right way and doing the right things. And it's obviously nice to get a goal there to start the third. Gives you a little confidence as a team. Weber makes that diving save. Can you just talk about how good he's been as like kind of a safety valve back there for some of the guys like Fitzroy and Hudson? Did? Yeah, he's been excellent this year. Um, you know, he, he logs a lot of minutes uh, on the penalty kill, does a great job. I think that was right at the end of a kill um, when he made that play. But he's been excellent this year. Um, you know, he, he understands what he is as a player, and you know, that's what you need. You need guys to accept their roles, and, and Webbs does it better than anyone. Coach, what's your assessment of the power play unit these past couple games? I noticed you've been giving the veterans a little bit more time on the power play. Well, I just think. Um, they were really good last game. They didn't score. Um, so, I, you know, it sometimes depends on who's out there when, when the penalty's called. Um, but I think one of the times we had, we had a timeout. So, yeah, they've been good. So I wanted to kind of keep them going. And, you know, they have the puck in the zone a long time. It's tough to get a change. Second matchup against the Big Ten team this season. What do these kind of matchups teach your program heading into hockey's play? Yeah, it just shows that, you know, we're competitive. I think we're hockey's a very competitive league. And I, I, you know, Big Ten's obviously a great league as well, so we want to make sure we're, you know, playing out of conference teams that we play well. And uh, it, overall, I thought we did tonight. And Coach, what are the main things that you're hoping to get out of this exhibition match coming up? I, I think, you know, any game we play, we want, we want to try to win it and play the right way and do the right things. You know, we'll probably mix some guys in the lineup, but, you know, we want to make sure we're doing things the right way. So when we go into the last few games of the, uh, before the break, we're doing things well, and, and that's the biggest takeaway from that game. Uh, on that power play goal by Brown, you know, they had two pretty good kills leading up to that power play. What was the, the main difference that allowed you guys to break through on? Well, they were pressuring pretty hard off any loose pucks, so we, we, we made sure that we were in our spots. Um, we knew if we got the, the puck into the bumper there that the weak side was going to be open. I think we found that in the second period as well. Uh, that time, you know, Brown had a good opportunity in the second. That time, he put it in the back of the net. Uh, yeah, no, it felt great. You know, obviously, 
earned some confidence there going into uh, you know next weekends, and uh, you know it was a great team effort tonight. Should take us through uh, your game goal with uh, Brown on your first one. Yeah. Uh, Mac made a great play to me as I was coming up ice. You know, I beat the first four checker, and then uh, you know, I grabbed the middle of the ice, and Brownie was there, and I knew if I got it to him, he would, uh, it was a pretty good chance he'd get it back and uh, you know, end up going in, so it was a good one. And then a good start to the third period with your goal on that four and four. What was kind of the message in the room as you guys were about to come out for the third? Yeah, it was just, you know, stick to the game plan. Uh, you know, just play hard and uh, play disciplined. Uh, but, yeah, just play hard. How do you think having these tough opponents have affected your play? Uh, you know, obviously, just looking to grow as a team and myself as a player. You know, every game we play, so you know, playing a team as structured as uh, they were, you know, definitely helps us uh, in the long run. Brown got on the board in the power play in the third period after two pretty good kills by Notre Dame. What do you think the key to getting on the board there was? Yeah, I think uh, you know, just sticking to the game plan. You know, we uh, we're getting better at playing full sixty. Uh, you know, tonight we started out, you know, good, and then uh, had a stretch there where we weren't great. But you know, we're just kind of playing hard the whole game. And then for you personally, just like you know, as the semester is going on, how do you feel like your game is kind of developed and you've adjusted to playing college hockey now? Yeah, you know, I feel like each game I feel like I gain more confidence and I get more comfortable. And uh, you know, obviously it's got to be fun too. So. It's always fun playing. Thoughts on Luke's uh, pregame fit? The inside of the jacket? Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's uh, you know it's pretty funny, but yeah, I like it a lot. Anything you're thankful for this time of year? Uh, yeah, you know my family, uh, you know being here, being here with my brother, you know it's pretty special, and then my teammates and coaches.